I can read. Beginning reading one. Fancy Nancy, the one hundredth day of school. It is the ninety seventh day of school, and I have a dilemma. That is a big problem. I do not know what to bring in for the one hundredth day. Bree put one hundred feathers on a hat. It looked so elegant. That's a fancy word for pretty. Robert is bringing his stamp album. There are one hundred stamps in it. Yoko's piggy bank has one hundred pennies. The bank is transparent. That means you can see inside. Lionel made a ball out of one hundred rubber bands. After school, I look all around my room. I have thirty-nine hair clips. That is not enough. I have fifty-seven bracelets. That is not enough. I have eighty-four ribbons. That is not enough. What am I going to do? Now. It is the ninety-eighth day of school. More kids bring in stuff: a bag with one hundred marbles, a jar with one hundred jelly beans, a box with one hundred crayons. I tell Miss Glass my dilemma. She tells me not to worry. You are very imaginative. That means. You are full of good ideas. You will think of something. At home, I tell mom my dilemma. She is making dinner. How about a poster with macaroni? She says, "I do not want to hurt mom's feelings." Three kids have already done stuff. With macaroni, macaroni is not imaginative. Dad is doing the wash. Maybe he will have a good idea. Dad says, "I bet we have fifty pairs of socks. That makes one hundred." I do not want to hurt Dad's feelings. But socks are ugly. I want something imaginative and fancy. After dinner, I try to think some more. All of a sudden, I hear my sister crying. Look, my sister says. She points at her fish bowl. Goldie is her goldfish. Goldie is not moving. We bury Goldie in our yard. Everyone is sad, even Frenchy. I am so glad that dogs live a long time. We put a few pebbles from Goldie's bowl on top. I tell my sister, we will remember Goldie fondly. Fondly means with love. The next day, I write a poem. Goldie was gold. For a fish, she was old. She liked to swim, so she stayed slim. You can't kiss a fish, but you can miss a fish. Miss Glass likes my poem. She reads it to the class. Nancy uses interesting words. Slim means thin. Her poem is in verse. It rhymes. At home, 
It is sad to see the empty fish bowl. Mom is about to throw out the pebbles. Then, all of a sudden, I get an idea that is imaginative. Stop! I say. I wash and dry all the pebbles. They are so pretty. I count them. Yes, there are one hundred four. I get my markers. I get a huge piece of paper. Huge is even bigger than big. I will make a poster. I spell out Goldie's name in glitter. I draw a picture of Goldie in her bowl. Then I glue on the pebbles. I let my sister help. I write on the poster. There are one hundred pebbles in the fish bowl. Today is the one hundredth day of school. I bring in my poster. I made it just in time. Miss Glass brings in something too. It's a card with one hundred books. She will read them all to us before school ends in June. Miss Glass is so imaginative.